No, 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 no. This the question is, I told him before you got here, words matter. He told me that I'm required to identify to him as if I don't know Florida statutes 901.151. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer, former sheriff's deputy. Today's YouTube video would be brought to you by the YouTube channel, Big Nick South Florida Accountability. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please show support and go and do so. We're about to take a look at the Broward County Sheriff's Office located in South Florida. We're gonna look at a veteran who served his country in Big Nick South Florida Accountability against the Broward County Sheriff's Department. This is an awesome audit. Make sure you watch the entire video to its end. And I'll even throw in a quick spoiler alert. I love it when Big Nick stated, as a veteran, I will uphold the oath that I swore to, unlike what you're doing right now. And as I always say, you got to know your rights because we're about to see the most basic rights these guys don't care to know or either just don't know. Let's check out this video. Big Nick, South Florida Accountability. I'm in the city of Lauderdale Lakes. I'm coming out to conduct a First Amendment audit of, of the perimeter of the Panu Eye Institute. We're going to make sure that the institute respects and honors the public's right to record in public. Everything's fine. I'm working on a story. Yeah. Uh, I got information that um, some elderly people have been getting scammed out of this location. Do you have any comments on that? And you are? Your name? Have you guys been scamming? Uh, have you guys been scamming senior citizens? So this is a one way. This this is a one way. That is a parking lot right there. This is a one way. Now he's gonna block the sidewalk. Deputy who? Deputy Desir. Desir. You know this a one way? Okay, I do know. Why did you, instead of going in the parking lot, why would you, why would you break the traffic laws and go down the wrong, the wrong way on the one way? So that get to tell you to break the traffic laws because you got a call, and you blocking the sidewalk. There's a parking lot right there. No, but I want to address your discrepancies that you would hold me accountable for. So that means you get to break the law. Does that mean that? You didn't answer that question. I don't care what the call is about. You don't get to break the law. Car 5905. Sorry, sorry. What was your name again? I didn't give it. Why would you need my ID? Why? Do I have to show you my ID? So here's what I have a huge problem with. An officer arrives on scene. He meets a man with a camera, no weapon, breaking no laws, but yet he calls for a backup. Now we were taught in the academy, we ready for backup when we need back up, not for some person holding a camera. You may say, hey, well, that's no big deal. But here's the problem with that. When you ready for backup, your partners who are coming are automatically on this high level of defense. So in many cases, when we see other police officers arrive on scene because they're on this high level of defense, or should we say offense, this is where things go bad. The officer on scene needs to be responsible enough to know, to know that I do not need to cause alert or call for backup that may go wrong for a man simply holding a camera. I mean, if I have to show you my ID, then I will. Am I required to show ID? Because you asked, I'm required to show ID? 
I know I understand that, but am I, I just want to get that straight because I don't want to break the law. I'm required based on what circumstance. No, let's talk about the requirement. Based on what specifications am I required to give you my ID? Right. Do you have authority to identify me? I just want to, seriously. Under what provisions? Committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or in the process of committing a crime? So, I don't have no problem So, so, am I required to ID to you? You just said you don't have any proper cause. Am I required to ID? See, words matter, especially to the people who don't know. So, I'm asking you, am I required to give you my ID? But you said yes. Right. But I guarantee you. No, 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 wait, 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 Desir. I guarantee you, without words, you can honestly see what's going on. You can tell me what's going on without me using words. You see a camera, you see me standing on a public sidewalk, and you see all this stuff that I can photograph. Now, what do you think is going on? Put all that together, what do you think is going on? Do you see a law being broken? Is there a law you need to enforce? I just want to address you by your name. Right. My name, I just want to know. Right, what, I'm a, but you're required to give me your name. All right, so now you're giving me 21 questions about something where you see no law being broken. And I don't understand that where the resources are being used at right now. When there's people out there that honestly probably need you. And then I want to address this, man. Come on. If you saw me do this, you'll write me a ticket. Especially parking on the sidewalk like this. There's no emergency lights on. There's no legitimate reason for you to be parked in such a manner, other than you guys are above the law. And he's doing, she's doing the same. Any particular reason why you guys are parked on the sidewalk? What's your name and your badge number? It's in your policy, deputy. You're on the scene, name and badge number. No, I, I don't know, that's, I can't, I, I'm, I'm visually impaired. But can you enunciate it for me? That's all, was that so hard? Thank you. You guys can 10 8. He already determined there's no proper cause, there's no law being broken. You guys can 10 8. Yeah, I know, but you guys can 10 8. There's, there's crime being committed. There's crimes being committed. Are you the feelings enforcer or a law enforcer? Are you a feelings enforcer or a law enforcer? I don't care. I feel uncomfortable with all these people around me with guns. Are you going to do something about that? Right. So, 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 so my comfort doesn't matter. My discomfort doesn't matter. But nobody mentioned a crime to you and you're telling me their discomfort. What about, I'm telling you I'm discomfort and you're not caring about that. Because an agency, well not this particular agency, but a profession that is known to kill people that look like me is standing within arm's distance of me with weapons. So I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable because my life is six times more likely to be taken by you guys than anybody else. That makes me very uncomfortable. No, 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 this is the questioning. I told him before you got here, words matter. He told me that I'm required to identify to him as if I don't know Florida statute 901.151. Florida statute 901.151. Whenever any law enforcement officer of this state encounters any person under circumstances which reasonably indicate that such person has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a violation of the criminal laws of this state or criminal ordinances of any municipality or county, the officer may temporarily detain such person for the purpose of ascertaining the identity of the person temporarily detained and the circumstances surrounding the person's presence abroad, which led the officer to believe that the person had committed, was committing, or was about to commit a criminal offense. These laws are available on Google. All you have to do is look them up. What is the point of our tax dollars paying for police officers to go through academies, wasting thousands or even millions of dollars if they're not being taught what we can simply Google and find out? Which I will not identify. Now I'm flat out refusing to. Is that against the law? Is that obstruction? Because in order to ID me, you need probable cause of a crime 
being committed, about to be committed, or have been committed in order for me, a Floridian, a taxpaying citizen, to relinquish my Fourth Amendment right to you. Why are you so, why you got, okay, I'm not detained, am I? Am I detained? I'm not detained? Okay, because you guys are half circling me. I don't like that. No, I'm not leaving. I just don't like to be half circled like that. You guys think I'm wasting time and I'm being silly, but I'm not. I'm standing up for the oath I took. 10 8? Told you that five, 10 minutes ago. You too, man. Be safe. Thanks for your professionalism. And that, my friends, is how you do it. Stand up for your rights, stand on your rights, and this is the end result. Now, there were so many violations in this video, I couldn't point them all out, but I'm sure you spotted several. But let's make sure we always know our rights so we can have the same result. With that being said, we the People University, signing off. Want to learn your rights? Make sure you register for our online video course titled Surviving the Police. You will learn everything you need to know when it comes to protecting your rights against tyrannical cops. So make sure you visit wethepeopleuniversity.com and register today.